What's up guys? Good to see you on the channel. It's your fault that I'm making this video today. So we're over at Atomic Sand. Brought my buddy Aaron with me today and we are, we're gonna, I, so y'all's comments have driven me crazy wondering if there's actually gold in my sand. So I bought this little um, gold pan and pan off of Amazon not too, well, it's been a while actually. A couple of months back and I've been riding it around in the truck and the reason being is uh, a little personal information. So I went through a divorce last year. I was getting some of your comments. My lawyer is kind of a geology buff. And I told him about the comments and he said, well, if there's any gold out there, don't you find it until I get you good and divorced. So uh, I just been riding around this stupid gold pan in the back of my truck for a few months now but then you guys started commenting again hey is there any gold in that sand and so i have zero idea what i'm doing when it comes to looking for gold but we got the they're washing the plant out now so they're just flushing water through it but there's always some sand left behind in the classifier tank as well as down in the in the screw so aaron and i just a minute when they shut the plant down we're going to climb up there and see what we can find all right they just shut down the shaker and the dredge, we're gonna run up here and see if we can watch this classifying tank drain out. Hang on, don't you go looking for gold without me, man. <laughs> you got the fever already, huh? Yeah, I'm checking those pockets before we leave, buddy. All right, so they just turned off um, the fresh water pump. So we, uh, we're slowly draining into the classifier tank now, just the last little bits of water. And so Aaron, my thought process is all this heavy gold is going to settle out up here in the classifier now your idea was to go out off the end of where it's coming over the weirs but gold ain't heavy so i think <laughs> i think this is going to be the best spot i think you got a great idea that just sounds like something i would have come up with so actually that's ass backwards my idea was to go out the back of the wash plant where all the rocks so that kind of crap's falling off but aaron was like well the gold's uh much heavier it's probably gonna get stuck in the plant first so uh hopefully it stays in the plant, ho hopefully, hopefully it stays in the plant. Yeah. and uh you know eric which is he's just pulled up right down there was saying there is a lot of black sand i can kind of see some black sand right there i see some shiny stuff down there looking at that machine. you got a lot of mica in here too uh, that's probably what i see i see some shiny yeah shiny and and so again we have zero clue what we're doing i've only paying for gold one time up in the mountains and found just I, I, it might have been fool's gold i don't know i found something shiny in it so we have zero idea what we're doing so i need your help with the uh, in the comments below as to how we're doing this where we should go i don't know but i do know that this mine used to be and i've shown it to you before and the wind's blowing so hopefully not too much noise in the video but we're about 150 feet deep the original purpose of this mine was for iron ore so i don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing but i gotta get down here and help aaron before he starts putting gold in his pockets aaron let me hand you this camera so i can climb down hand me that camera so you can climb down okay thanks buddy yeah wonder how many views we'll get if i fall i don't know try and find out no i think we'll just stick with getting them the regular, the regular. <laughs> how the hell did you get down there that one's lower oh, than yeah. jump from it. I like that one better. It's kind of awkward in here. Yeah, it is. These damn walls are slick as. Oh, get out. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, yeah. I, found, I found something already. <laughs> is, this the, is this the black one? Or... <laughs> I don't think that's what we want. I don't think so. Either. Our plates are holding up good. Oh, yeah. How long ago we relined this thing? About a year ago. This had a high dollar AR400 right here. Man, it's holding up real good. Uh huh. All right. All right. Here you go. You hold the camera. I'm gonna make all, right. all the money. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can find. There are some rocks up here. Some little pebbles, I think, or there might be clay balls. But yeah. So, Aaron 
got in here and we realigned this tank because as you can imagine with everything here uh, at this wash plant the sand just eats all the components up these are the plungers i was telling you guys about the other day that go up and down to allow the sand uh, to fall out and whatever the uh, computer ratio tells it to so all these go up to here to the hydraulic motors so what's happening in this classifying plant all that sand slurry comes rushing in from this end of the tank your heavy particles fall out first then your medium and then of course way down there is the lighter sand grains and your fines and so that's what these plungers do just go up systematically to let out the right amount of each gradation to make our concrete sand but what we're going to try to do and hopefully this is a decent idea is get some uh just scrape some sand up off the bottom of the classifier tank you know we might want to get behind you too if it's because yeah, gonna... gold's super heavy we'll just kind of get from a couple different a couple different spots and then maybe even that spot right there is kind of undisturbed i was thinking maybe we dig the top off of that yeah and get down to the metal and get some gold uh off the floor i hope so and Aaron, that's my lucky shovel right there, buddy. I told you this is the money maker. And I, I, so I have ordered that one off Amazon too. It's got a gold magnet. It's yeah. gold magnet plated, so all the gold will stick to the. Heck what, yeah. What you got? Anything? I don't know. I got some rocks. Look at that one. Oh, that rock. This little rock right here. <laughs> What's that? No, the the gold colored one. I'm grabbing all the rocks. You're grabbing all the wrong ones. Uh, does that look anything? It kind of does, but I mean, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. I mean, this, was, this was your idea. <laughs> this was our viewers' <laughs> idea. We need, we need, there was somebody on the comments that like does this for a living. I think we might need to get them down here and get us a sluice box and see, we let a professional get down here because we're just kind of. I, now I did watch me and Aaron have both watched YouTube videos on panning for gold so we're pretty much professionals at this point yeah my gold experience is mainly just watching gold rush man I used to be addicted to that show and then it started getting kind of too staged you know and I uh, just quit watching but I do know a little bit about sluicing maybe maybe we'll set up a sluice box out here and get rich Heck, heck with sand, we'll just start gold mining. I had a bigger shovel in the truck, but I didn't bring it. I thought this would do better in between all the yeah. plungers. I'm trying to go all the way to the floor. Yeah, get that heavy. Get that heavy good, stuff. That good stuff. I, I mean, I see sparkles in there, but our sand has a lot of mica uh -huh. in it too. And what I'll do, guys, when we get down and start you know, really looking at this, I'll film it with my phone so I can get... Some more close-up shots for you guys but i don't know it's, it's interesting let's see what we can find yeah yeah we're digging some of this okay let me back up i think i think this finer sand is gonna hold stuff better i'm stuck and there i kind of liked your idea too about getting down in the in the screws I think that would be a great, great place because you know a lot, a lot of stuff still going to go through these plungers oh, yeah. no matter how heavy. Yeah, just because of the turbulence. It is. So down below this, is, this drops into the sand screws that we looked at the other day, and so that might be a good place to get a couple samples from too. You drop that in your bucket, well, dude. <laughs> I don't, can't really flip my wrist like that. Yeah, kind of like inside of a little jungle gym. <laughs> Don't mess with the cameraman like that, dude. Got some shiny. Yeah. I think it's more of the little mica and mica silica stuff. or whatever. Who knows? Aaron, if we do find gold, we're going to have to call all of our customers and tell them to bring all of our sand back. Yeah. We're going to go and uh, start tearing out people's concrete pads. <laughs> Crushing it <laughs> and washing it for Crushing gold. Crushing it and washing it. <laughs> So we just got the dredge back up and running 
today. The guys went down last week, some electrical component messed up out there, a diode, I think. Is that what it was, Aaron? Yeah, in the VFD. Yeah, so in the variable frequency drive, some diodes went bad, so we've been down for a couple of days. Had a little string of bad luck here, man. That, that happened. We blew a head gasket on a cat dozer. The, the Komatsu D65 was already in the shop for track work. So um, just got back up and running today. So this actually, if we do find gold, that would be a fantastic turn of events, man. We need it. How much dirt you want to get? Hell, I don't know, bro. I don't guess we need to get too much because that little bitty old pan yeah. that I bought off Amazon ain't that ain't that big. I <clears throat> Did you get any from like up in the corner? Let me get up in the corner. Yeah. Right. I just got a feeling, dude. I got a feeling that's going to be the gold. That's the honey hole right up in there. Probably got some big old quarter inch nuggets. Well, those are going to go in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get up in here. Uh, that stuff up in there's probably been sitting there for quite some time. It's pretty chunky too. Oops. I dropped some. Oh yeah, I like the way that looks. That's what she said. Ha ha ha! Making jokes. It must be getting close to five o'clock. That mic is really going to trick us, I feel like. Yeah, that's going to be terrible. It's so sparkly. But, I would think too, it's light. And with my new skill set of uh, panning for gold that I got off YouTube, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to separate the two out in a matter of seconds. Yeah. Oh so yeah, I like the looks of that, man. That's nice and chunky. Got some pea gravel in it. That's a good one. That's really a, getting in that corner. That's, that's money. Yeah. Now, on a serious note, we have found some amethyst in this mine. So, I, when we uh, rescreen the concrete sand to make our mason sand, we screen out all the little pebbles. And so, I've washed through a couple of tractor buckets of that, just looking to see what I could find. And we did, it was not like jewelry grade or anything, but there were some pieces of amethyst. So, there's a lot of geology, different geology layers, geological. I don't have any idea what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> you shut up. There's a lot of different layers out here is what I'm trying to say. So who knows, man? Yeah. <laughs> how, how goes it, Buddy Row? Oh, eating eating your afternoon snack, huh? Eating supper. Kiwi strawberry minute made and barbecue Fritos. Yeah, whatever it is, it ain't happy. <laughs> kind of tastes like some of them crazy liquor drinks we used to make back high school. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> so, with, that, with that golden grain crap in it. Oh, like our old PJ we used to make. So me, like. so me and Eric, we went to middle school and high, high school. school. Yeah. No, no. Or just high no, school. No, no, middle school and high school. Yeah. yeah, we can't remember. We went to school together. But Eric worked uh, up the street at a metal fab shop. And we was damn having to pay so much money to the metal fab shop. I just said, hey, how about come down here and just be our, our resident maintenance guy so for those of you who are asking about maintenance this fella right here knows his stuff when it comes to to metal him and aaron both are my my metal gurus you got it buddy yeah oh yeah y'all can, can, can figure it out and make something work hey eric you're right on time <laughs> what you need? he needs to grab this bucket <laughs> i would but I, I'm, I'm i'm busy filming that's my excuse Got to be good at something. Yeah. Where the hell we get all this fabric stuff wrapping around the paddles? That is wrap these socks up. It's yeah, who knows where it, where it come from. Aaron, your phone's ringing. There's a duck in my pocket. There's a duck in your pocket. We're talking to them later. Yeah. They're not important right now. We are gold prospecting. Oh no. no, no. I don't know what all this crap is. Huh. All right, let's get out of get here. Straight ball around in the very bottom, real good. That's <clears> you're gonna find it. It's gonna be around the edges in the very bottom. Yeah, we tried to. We got right here in the center, went down, then we got up in the corner. Sides and everything out of the I got a uh, battery powered shop back. If we find gold, we're gonna be up here with whatever we have to to get it out. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's easier if you go to the other end and climb up the dirt pile down there. All right. Those places there don't, those last right. places don't, don't work right. So. I might do that then. What I usually do is right yeah. step up on the, um, the tubing right there and just step yeah. over, just over, 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 use and walk it, right down there. And use, it like, it use it like a ladder? Hold that for me. I think it's funnier if you hold it. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure it would be. Let's see you do that with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> My legs ain't that long here. All right, I'm going to time you. Uh, speed I up. I ain't either. That's why I have a hard time. My legs are too short to swing up there. Don't want to take the money and run. Gotcha. Don't forget the Fritos, man. That the honey barbecue ones? Oh, I like them too. Eric, do I need to lock this gate? Okay. Yeah, down in here, guys, this is where I think if we do have gold, I think this is where it would be because it all comes out of that classifier down into here. And then the screws take it up. So this is kind of like a, you know, a natural um, sluice table. It's kind of sort of. At least what I'm trying to say is all that heavy stuff should stay down here in the bottom of this vat. So, but we got to, you'd have to pull the plug and drain the whole thing. So maybe what we got up here will give us a, a good enough representation. See if we can find any little flakes or something. I don't know. I have no clue what we're doing. So it's still in there, and I used to have all this. I had, it did end up giving it all away. Had a little sluice box. Yeah. Really? Had the sluice box too? That's what we need. This is just a little old cheap. Yeah, that's the small one. Thing. I should have bought a bigger one, but. Yeah, that's the small one. I don't know what I'm doing. And I got a bigger one. And it just yeah, I see you got your snuffer bottle, your tweezers, yep, and your a little, vial. A little sucker bottle. We're going to fill this vial up here in a minute. I got some at Mama's house. We got uh, me and Diddy mined out of just up here in Edgefield. Edgefield? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing we was just talking about. So Eric and his dad used to go around paying them. But they were up in Edgefield, which has got a lot more granite rock. This is just obviously a sand deposit. But there are those layers of river rock and stuff. I mean... Who knows? Yeah, you see it. As a matter of fact, you can see a good layer of it right over there where they uh, uh, slip on this. Yeah. Like, like, uh, 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 like pea gravel. Yeah. So that, there's a band that runs around this place too, and that's where we found, you know, those little pieces of amethyst and stuff. So who knows? But let's go find us a hose pipe. You want to go down to the shop? Yeah, go down to the shop. Yeah, let's go down to the shop. Hold <laughs> on for a second there. I'd spilt your bucket. That one's yours. Oh, that's my bucket. That's the one with all the gold in it, then. Hey, pup, go see me. This is this is Eric's child right here. This is is Bristol. Hey, Miss Bristol, how you doing? All right, guys. So we're down here at the shop. Got our buckets full of. I'm just going to go ahead and say full of gold. But I wanted to show y'all inside the shop real quick for you guys who are asking about uh, you know more maintenance type stuff nothing special in here we did come in and put some new roll up or slide doors on the shed uh, shop not too long ago and then last year i came in and installed a cooling pad i'm excited about getting this up and running for the summertime so water trickles down this is like a swamp cooler water trickles down the this cardboard material we shut all the doors we've got a fan it's boarded up now because it's winter time fan pulls air from the outside through this cooling pad and it can drop the temperature about 15 degrees in that four inches of going through that cardboard so that should help us stay cool down here in the summertime but nothing special We've got a little loft up there where we keep all of our filters chainsaws and stuff uh stuff like that but just uh just a general old shop down here this is where we'll cook out eric's rebuilding some uh winch motors right now so I want to get some more equipment in here, some maybe get us a lathe and stuff like that for Eric to really be able to, to you know, customize some stuff down here. But that's the shop. 
All right, fellas, how are we going to do this? We got us a hose pipe right over yonder. All right, Master Prospector. <laughs> hey, you watched the YouTube video too. Yeah, but mine's like expired because that was a couple months ago. Oh, okay. You're, yeah. So you're. All flights, you just got to do it slow. Yeah, so your certificate is expired. Is that what you're telling me? That's right. Like and mine, mine's fresh since I just watched the video today. Uh -huh. I ain't done that since I was a kid. So. Uh, no, everybody's got excuses all of a sudden, man. Come on. <laughs> all right we'll let you go first yeah there you go and you want you want to film or no yeah yeah, yeah. i can do whatever i'll man. try it you turn your water on yeah, we're gonna need a little bit of water. high low medium in between no this a trickle a little trickle a little bit more now a little more a little yeah, more just a hold right there fill her up <laughs> Bristol's like, what you got for me in that bowl, Dad? You don't even need to drink this water. So what I was watching the dude earlier, I guess he probably had about that much material in the pan. And then he's doing exactly what you're doing now, letting that gold just work through the sand. And then he would take a, I think he took his hand, kind of scalped it, you know, a little bit. But hell, that's just from one, hey, Bristol, that's just from one YouTube video. So I have no clue what I'm doing. So, you, Eric, you got the only real world experience out of the three of us, buddy. It ain't much. It's something. I'll take it. Hey, Pop. You think we got any gold in there? Hmm? Huh? Gold in them there hills. Gold in them hills. I hope there's gold in them there hills. Sure enough, pay more than concrete sand, wouldn't it? <laughs> now, Aaron, I ordered this especially for you. All right. I, I had it custom <laughs> built just for your, <laughs> just for your, just for your oh, eye. Yeah, I see Let me, now. Here, look at us. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got to steal it and scrunch down on it. Yeah. Ten times, huh? Well, see all that mica. Uh -huh. I'm gonna film with my phone for a little bit so we can see. You can see that mica sure enough sparkling all up in there. Let's see if I can get it to. There we go. Now it's zooming in a little bit. I don't see any of that black dirt, but it might be on the very bottom. There was, yeah, it might not. Still a bit longer. Oh, and now I see it coming through. You can see some of that black. So I guess you want it to slide through the riffles yeah. first when you're kind of like trying to cut it, you know, or get that stuff off the top. Well, a lot of pans don't even have riffles on them. Oh, really? Well, you can get them just metal pans. They've done it to But the riffles help catch it when it's real small. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks good to me. Mm-hmm. How about you, Eric? I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. We think you're doing a fantastic job, buddy, because neither one of us have a damn clue what we're doing, so it looks cool to me. Oh, yeah, I did see a bunch of the black stuff. Yeah, up in the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to hang around. us the heavier stuff, so. And then one guy, he was taking his hand, he'd bop the pan. Uh -huh. He'd get, you know, get less material in it than that, but then he'd kind of bop it, and all the heavy stuff would stay to that end of the, of the pan. All the flakes I see up there, I mean, I do see something sparkling, but it looks kind of silverish. <laughs> Put your eyes on. <laughs> yeah, and you hold this camera, and I'll use my phone, because I can get in way closer. All right, let's double team this thing. Yeah. This is a two-camera deal here. Let's see. Let's see how close I can get in there. Get it to... There's some sparkles. I don't know, man. We definitely have the black sand, though. I mean, that's that's a plus, right? I don't know. I know on Gold Rush, they were always, you know. Get excited? Yeah, get excited when they had that dark black, black sand material. I just can't help but think since, you know, because we had the, uh, the iron ore here, they're got to be a couple flakes somewhere out there. The 
every time I hear you that, you take it from me. <laughs> Is mica heavy, I wonder? I don't know. Aaron, maybe you dug in the wrong spot. That's yeah, what I'm kind of thinking. That's what I'm kind of thinking happened. Is you dug, you dug in the wrong. My bucket's probably gonna have some gold in it. What's about? This is your bucket. Uh oh, this is your bucket. My, mine's up there. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, guys. What's that little nugget right there? Is that just a rock? Piece of quartz. Yeah. Damn. I thought that was our payday, right there, guys. I don't know, but I gotta get off my knees because that concrete, oh, well, that concrete don't feel too good. It's starting to get some darker stuff down there. Right? Yeah. It does. Now Look there is that. some. There's a little. <laughs> there's a little yellow line. Let me get my phone back out. There's here. definitely some good color in there. Now that you look at it. There's something. Could that be like gold dust? You reckon? Or there's dust. There's rocks. Is that a saying? No, no, it's just, you know. Now, when you did it a while ago, Eric, I could see a hard line. Uh, I gotta get the phone to... to... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Why'd I give you the GoPro? Uh, I'm gonna swish it around. Yeah, swish it around a little bit more. See what, you, see what you got. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of promising. Thin it out a little more. Yeah, let's see if I can get a little bit more of that white stuff off the top. That looks like some yellow dust, man. Like, no joke. Right? Huh. Now, now would you want to... Yep, I knew I was going to. Now would you want to run it across the, the riffles? Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but I mean, that stuff it right, sure in, like right in there, it looks like, I mean, it's not chunks, obviously, but could it be some gold dust, you think? How much dust do you need to, to make a brick? To make a brick, yeah. <laughs> a lot more. A lot. Well, you see, that's, whatever that is, is staying behind. It's yeah, it's heavy. It's heavier. Get in there as close as I can. Yeah, gotta get that wear off of it. I think it might be some dust, man. But I, hell, I don't know what to do with it from from there. Well, you gotta smelt it. What they say? I gotta get it. You gotta smell it. Smell, smell it there. Smelt it. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, they call smelting. I guess you gotta heat it up in a little furnace and. Uh, yeah, melt it, melt it down and yeah, stuff. Whatever chemicals you got to add in there, we just uh, that sure do look like. It something. does look like gold dust. I mean, that's nothing I'm gonna take to the bank, but shake it, shake it around again, see if you can get that that little yellow line. Yeah, yeah you got to There, of, yeah, there you go. Right now you can kind of see it on the. I got an arms tree on the outside. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Looks like dirt. What? Gold dirt. I think. And I don't, just don't know why it keeps doing that. But it's just the, it's the surface tension of the water on this yeah. plastic pan, man. That's, you know. Let me try it now. I all right, all right. You try it. Let me try my. A little YouTube. bit more water in there, so it don't. So you, your water don't leave you. All right. Put me a little bit more water in here. Let's see that dude. He made it look easy on the YouTube. On the yeah, YouTube video, he does it all the time, <laughs> but he got it all of that in, look, look and then it, you got it pretty well bunched up. Yeah. See, I wish I could get the water to run away from it. There we go. Oh, see, then it yeah, does that does funky it. thing right there. But I mean, that's some sparkly little gold specks in there. Aren't you supposed to taste it? Should I try that? All right, I think you bite it. <laughs> I don't have a piece big yeah, enough to bite. gotta be able to sink into it, are you? Yeah, bite it and see if it's softer. Let me try this <laughs> tapping trick that dude did. Nice I mean, that's that a, it's a little there. line. Let me try to film it with the phone. I'm gonna really count on my, my viewers to kind of give me their professional opinion on it's what we got. Oh yeah, perfect, yeah, do that. That's awesome. 
You had it right. Put you get my hat over. Yeah, yeah you there gotta you get you that go. glare off of it. So that's what we got right there, folks. So I'm gonna need y'all's help on what y'all think of that right there. But it stayed behind, you know, when I was swishing it around. Put your hat back. That's there what I was go. trying to get to. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it looks it looks goldish. Maybe we should take uh, take this back. Let me see this camera. Maybe maybe we should so take this back. Snuff it up. And yeah, snuff it up. Put it in. Put do it. some more and just keep getting as much as you can. And yeah. Let's try to do a little bit more and see what we get. Fire. Yeah. Then we melt it down and I'm gonna make me yeah. some gold tefuses. Let me get it uh, a little yeah. bit thinner. Yeah, if so you can. Get some of that trash off of it. Yeah. See what you can do. Oh, gold pan, Eric. That's your new. That's your new nickname, nickname, buddy. Aaron, what do you think? If I just make me a grill, I get enough gold. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool if you made your grill with gold from your own mind. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Original. Yeah. I think I think that's a little gold, man. Like I, I want it to be gold, of course, but I mean it sure does look like it. All right, and I'll go ahead and say this on the video too. So, if this is gold, and you try to sneak on the property this guy lives on the property and he's got more guns than probably the u.s army and uh, he will shoot you he will okay no he doesn't have that many guns <laughs> he lost him in a boating accident. yeah he lost him in a boating accident. but he, this guy will shoot your ass knives so, and sticks so don't go on our property i got slingshots Some good ones. Good ones. Well, yeah i know it, it always wants to kind of like run together at the end there but and you can see a lot of stuff over there and yeah but, but that stuff right there Let's see if we can get a little more off of it. Okay, see what you can do. But the black the black stuff and the what might be gold dust is staying behind, so I mean it's promising. It's heavier, it's, it's heavier if whatever it it's is. It's promising. Yeah, see when you start tapping it like that, all that all that yellow stays behind. All that stuff up there. I'm saying it's gold, guys. We're rich. Yeah, let's snuff that up and Hell, I'll take it to, uh, we can take it maybe to one of the labs, there, and that does the sand testing for us, and, and maybe they'll be able to look at it under a microscope or something and yeah. tell us if it's gold. Just take it straight to the pawn shop. Those guys are experts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get me a vial full and take it down there and say, boys, it's your lucky day. Uh -huh. I got 0 .07 grams of gold here. Well, I don't think we're gonna need the tweezers. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, Let's see if we can get our little plastic sucker bottle out of here. Aaron, you want to hold the? Of course I do. The vial. Yeah. Eric, what'd you call this thing while I go? A snuffer. Snuffer bottle. Snuffer what they bottle. Call it on the TV show. You are a real gold prospector, ain't you? TV show. Look at all that money. Oh no, that left all the shiny it stuff. It did leave all, yeah. Watch out. You can't get excited <laughs> there, Bubba. <laughs> no, we gotta, we gotta pull that tube out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it did leave all the. Now it's real shiny. That's promising, man. I like this. The hell it's saying, man. I'm, I'm just gonna start gold mining, dude. I'm down with it. Let's do it. Mm hmm. A little bit in there. You got something. We got something. We don't know what we got, but we got something. Damn though. No. <laughs> I tell you what, with this little bitty pan, we might have got too much dirt out of there, buddy. We're gonna be here till till midnight. Be yeah. All right, we're on pan number number two. How's this one looking, buddy? Well, Look, same as the other. Well, I do see some, you know, a little. Yeah, I see it. Gold dust up there in the in the very top of it. I'm not really sure about my technique. Technique? Here. Well, well, I ain't either, so. Yeah. I wonder if you just let it go on across those riffles. Is it ri it's riffles, right? Or rip ripples? I don't know if it's P or F. I think it's riffles with an F. I think it's riffles. Riffles sounds cooler. It does. Then we're going to wash them out. Well, I mean, I guess that's what you're supposed to do with the riffles is like try to get that white stuff off just let it slide across them and then your gold supposedly Gets stays stays behind 
supposedly. I think that's the science behind it. I think so too. I'm gonna grab my phone real quick so I can get some close up. This is kind of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, man. I like it. Color down there at the bottom. Yeah. Let's keep going. I can do better. Just maybe get to a point where you don't use the ripples. I, yeah, maybe, and maybe now you can just kind of slosh it around in there and try to separate it. But you can see a definite line. Quit shaking for just one second. Let me get in there with the camera. You can definitely see some color. See how far I can zoom in. I mean, it's it's something. It ain't the color of our sand, that's for sure. Mm -mm. A A little bit. Some of that black stuff. I guess that's the iron ore. Oh uh, yeah, it might be the iron ore. What that magnet was clean before you stuck it in there? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Interesting. So you can definitely see that color line right there. Uh -huh. You can feel the difference. It don't feel like. Don't feel like sand. Mm -mm. What's it feel like? Let's you know, see if I can get some more. Oh yeah, you can see it jumping on that, that magnet. All that iron ore. Oh yeah. It kind of, it's got a different feel. Yeah, it does same. have a different different feel to it. That's interesting. What you think, Aaron? You want to snuff that up in our bottle and put it in our vial? You want to try to? No. Huh. I think you're getting pretty dang close there, Bubba. I'm liking it. I mean, that's a that's freaking that's a gold color. Yeah, it's got. I mean, you know, it makes makes you believe. Yeah, it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. duck. Must be gold. Must be gold. Isn't that the same? <laughs> yeah. I like the way that looks, man. It's still got a lot of lot like, of colored sand in there. I don't yeah. know if we can shed that off without losing anything or not. You a damn gold professional, man. If anybody can shed that stuff off, you can do it. Look right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> like I really am. It's probably fool's gold, but it's still that's exciting stuff, man. This is fun. We gotta figure out uh, what chemical to get to separate it. Yeah, like something you put in there and you put it in. A, you gotta have one of them ovens that get yeah. we up there and go smelting. I guess smelting it. I guess it burns off uh, whatever you put in there with it. Right. It burns all the crap off and leaves just to go. We're gonna have to do some research, fellas. They got videos. <laughs> they got videos on everything, everything man. Every, everything. How do you, you think I learned how to be a sand miner? On YouTube. Uh, we got videos. Uh, we're making videos right now. We're making videos. Not to do it. Yeah. How not to be? How not to be a sand miner? How to be a gold prospector? Look at that. That looks like freaking gold, man. All right. I say let's snuff that up in the bottle, and then I want to try to do. I want to try to do a pan. We haven't get a metal detector. It'll be checking all your employees on the way out the gate. <laughs> That's right. I was telling Aaron, Aaron earlier, we're going to tell everybody, bring all the sand back. If you've ever brought, bought sand from us, you got to bring it back. We're going to go tear the reactors down. <laughs> <laughs> the cooling towers. Sorry, Plant Vogel, but uh, we got to tear your reactors down and recoup our gold. It looks good to me, man. What do you think? You want to only snuff that or you want to take everything? I say let's just get that part up there because that's that. the most gold color. There's like a little bit right there. Yeah, let me grab that little bottle. Like there's a lot of flakes. Like I guess what's I don't know if it's even gold. Snort that first, and then we'll snort it. Move around. Yeah, just squeeze it in and steam it around. Oh man, I just mixed all your gold together, dude. Yeah. That's well, right. it's because I'm right-handed. I'm holding the camera with my right hand, and I'm trying to trying to Let snuff. Me. Yeah, you do it, Eric. You, you. Let's we'll see if we can. You're a better snuffer than me. Bristol. You gonna, you gonna snuff it? 
She's like, I want to be a movie star. You want to be a YouTube Super YouTube star? Superstar. Super <laughs> Got a whole Bristol yeah, yeah, bag. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff that's right there. Money right there, fellas. Look at that. I like it. Get it. How, mu how much we got so far? Hundred dollars worth yet? I don't think you got another <laughs> plate of tooth yet. <laughs> Half a tooth. One little speck on the corner. <laughs> Maybe a filling. My feet are falling asleep. I know. Yeah, down. yeah, we're going to get us a professional setup out here, guys. Get us some benches. Get us a sluice box set up. Yeah, we need a sluice box. Yeah. Any more in there? Uh, yeah, I don't want all your efforts to go to waste. I don't see. I don't know though. Whenever it starts sliding down like that, that's when you can kind of see yeah. that little line develop. It might not be a bad idea to grab that up. Oh yeah, that right there, there. Is a, looks like a little bit of gold, Eric. Maybe, I don't know. You see that? Yeah. Vacuum that up. All right, we're satisfied, I guess. I'm good with that. All right, you're up. I'm up. Now which bucket was mine? I forget. We haven't done <laughs> anything out of that bucket yet. I think I think I think this is my bucket right here. I'm doing this one. Well, this one right here's got the bottom and everything in it, man. All right, that's my bucket there. That's what I meant to say. That's my bucket. Yeah, get all that heavy stuff at the bottom there, buddy. Okay. Okay, we're live. Except we're not. We're live except we're not. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do here, folks. I'm just going to shake a little bit, get all that heavy stuff down into the bottom. All right, so this is our fourth time. I got two ounces on my last time, so we're going to see how Ryan compares. <laughs> this is, it feels like about three, <laughs> three and a half ounces here, Aaron. All right. You gotta like dump it quick because the sand hey, just this is stays, my first, this stays my first behind. Time, buddy. No, I mean it, it, I did the same thing. Like you tip the water off and nothing comes out. I just want to try to get all that gold because I'm gonna beat you boys. I'm gonna get all that gold shook down to the bottom. Keep doing it like that. Yeah, you got a good technique, I think. Thanks, man. You know, you're actually better off if you had a tub here. You could do it in so you could. That's what I'm saying. That's when you got the water. the water. Yeah, and then you don't have this mix of back up every time. Or something to do it in. Yeah. Like I got a piece of cut off drum or something. I don't know I'm looking at that pot over there. If that was big enough to fill it with yeah, water. Yeah, I don't know if it. Yeah, if it's bigger than the pan, I don't know if you can get your fingers around it. Oh, yeah, that'd be the only thing. We're going to get us a daggum sluice around here, boys, is what we're going to do. We're going to go full time gold rush. Yeah, I mean, we probably got a good 37 cent worth already. <laughs> hey, maybe we can just... And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could just make beer money, it'd be worth it. Well. Well, we'd have to stay out here for about 12 hours <clears throat> to afford a six-pack at this rate, I think. Get all that gold down to the bottom. I guess I'm doing this right. What do you think, Aaron? I'm not going to tell you it's I, wrong. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. I'm just trying to get that light stuff to wash off the top, get that gold down there to the bottom, and then just dump it like that. I guess, should I be going across the riffles now, you reckon? Yeah, the riffles are actually better for the end. Uh, for the end? Yeah, it catches all you. Yeah, when you try to finesse it. I just want to make it look pretty for the video, you know? Oh, you're doing a great well, job. Make it look like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Eric. I ain't losing a lot of material. I need more coming off of there. If you had it in water, you could sit there and just... And that way it stays wet the whole time. Do you want it to stay wet? Like, should you keep the yeah, hose you, on it the whole time? Well, if you had it in like a bucket, well, the hose, hose if you had a bigger, turbulence. Yeah, you know? if you had a, you know, like a wash tub or something, so you could just swirl it around in the tub of water. Right. Let's go back to the creek, real time. Hey, we should try it back there in the creek. That ain't a bad idea. With the I alligators. see. I see some black dirt. 
getting left down in there. That's promising at least. All right, now I think I'm gonna try to use my riffles. They're the ones that really do this and be laughing like hell on the video. <laughs> <laughs> that idiot, he ain't doing that right. There you go. That was a good one. A little bit. Yeah. You're about to lose that big old nugget. nugget. You're about to lose the nugget, man. <laughs> I don't know what that is for real. I would flip out if that actually was a nugget. Nope, it it's a rock. It ain't gold oh, enough, man. Aaron, how you doing with the camera there? I think I'm doing all right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're not exactly <laughs> center, but <laughs> gonna, the whole we'll video is gonna be of like your boot. Yeah. <laughs> and us talking. Right here. I, you're doing a great job, Ryan. <laughs> that was a good one right there. Did, did you just see that band of gold in there? Did you see that huge <laughs> nugget we just got out of there? <laughs> Starting to lose our sunlight a little bit too. That's all right. The old timers can do this in the dark. That's all right. We can too. Let's see, I'm gonna try to get everything over to one side and try that trick that dude did on YouTube. So he'd get everything over here. Give me a little bit more water, Eric. And then he'd just bump the side that the material was on. Hey, now we got us a flashlight. Ooh, buddy. Look at all that damn gold or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Something, exactly. But you can see a line right there. But he would get all the material to one side, tilt the paint a little bit, and then just tap it. But you tap it too hard. You think so? There you go. Just tap, 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 tap it. it tap it in. I don't know. It's sparkly. It is. It yeah. is mighty shiny. It looks good. It looks and, good and to kinda, me. Kind of yellow. Yeah. Let's see. Get some more of that trash off of there. Okay. I think I should dump it again across them ripples. Stuff staying behind. No, I think that's good. Maybe we could, what you reckon? I mean, y'all tell me, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We could snuff that little bit right there, but that sure enough is sparkly. Let me grab my phone real quick. Smarty yellow. And video it so we can see up close and then maybe our the folks watching can tell us. But that's, that's gold to me right there. I mean, gold color. I can get it to focus. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do after this, but I mean, from my untrained eye, it looks like daggum gold to me. All right, I say let's go ahead and grab the, the snuffer upper and suck that up and put it in the bottle. I know I got to stand up. I know, I can't, I can't do it for so long myself. Get old, man, I get old. Let me hold that camera here while you... Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to hold the camera and while I start, go ahead. <laughs> I'm to have to edit this whole video out. <laughs> and then we got to see nothing. Oh, I think oh. I'll drop that out. Yeah. This thing's kind of... It's almost like I ordered it off of Amazon or something. I don't know. <laughs> almost like it's the cheap yeah. gold yeah. penny kit. Links in the description. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty good suck, Deb. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. You kind of got to help it open back up. Grand signs. Sweet. Get that gold, buddy. What do you think? I think we've golded out that I pan. like it, yep. Yeah. Eric, shine your light on the... Snuffed in there. I don't know. I don't know. I think we'd have about lost too much light to, I don't think the, to, to, uh, see, to see what we got the there. The quality but. of this plastic is great. <laughs> we got, yeah, we got something. I don't know, guys. Y'all let us know in the comments below what what you think. I, I know we are, you know, obviously not professional gold miners, but we tried. And it looks like there's gold in there, but I honestly have zero clue as to what to do now. So y'all let us know. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next video. Really cool, man.